All right, I'm gonna have to do this single-handed real quick. I'm going to show how to remove a thermal putty from your PCB. Get you a stack of coffee filters, slide it under, slide at least one under the PCB. Okay, you're going to take isopropyl alcohol, 91% should be pretty good, and you're gonna pour it into a Remagen or shot glass. Doesn't have to be a lot. That was a lot more than I needed. All right, next step. If you have the Articlean thermal material remover, this does work as well. Most people have access to rubbing alcohol. So you can grab you a super fancy toothbrush, dip it, tap the excess off, and then scrub. And it's like gone forever. You just dippy, 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 tap, 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 and it's gone. Yes, it will get on the PCB. Take the coffee filter and clean it off. You can do the same thing for the memory. Do the same thing for the dye. It's not as complicated as people make it out to be. Dip, 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 tap, tap, tap. Rub. The bristles are soft enough that it's not going to damage the components. As long as you're not hitting them with the top. You just rub, 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 rub. Rub, 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 rub. And then once you're done with that, you dry it off with the coffee filter. Super easy. Takes very little time to clean all of this. People make it sound super complicated. It's not. Stop making it complicated. Start making it easy. Use a toothbrush. Don't use it on your teeth afterwards, for the love of God. Just use it straight on the PCB. If you don't want it afterwards, throw it in the trash. Go buy another one. It's that easy. Have a good day.